All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And this is my Washington Capitals at Buffalo Sabres preview. So the Washington Capitals come in at 29, 26, and 6. Uh, the Buffalo Sabres go into this game at 30, 23, and 4. Uh, let's get our 31st win of the season. Keep that number two wild card playoff spot. Uh, we got to keep on winning, but now Alex Tuck was placed on IR, so uh, we got to get another forward uh, either through Rochester, either through free agency or trade or uh, the waiver wire. But um, yeah, so we'll be without Alex Tuck, which means guys like Tage Thompson, Jeff Skinner. Uh, Peyton Krebs, Dylan Cousins, Jack Quinn, you know, them guys have to step up. Zemgis Gergensen's, you know, Casey Middlestat. Um, they need to step up uh, in Alex Tuck's place. And we're going to need, uh, we're going to need to play a little bit of defense. Uh, and with the trade deadline coming up, you know, like I said, we need to make a couple of trades, I think. I think we need another you know, goal scorer, uh, someone who can put the puck in the net besides Tage Thompson, Alex Tuck, you know, Jeff Skinner, you know, guys like that. We're going to need uh, people that can score, especially in the month of March, uh, because uh, we got a lot of games in March, uh, a lot of home games, and we got to win at home, uh, especially when we get in the playoffs. Um, if we're going to make any kind of a run, we got to win our home games. We can't just win on the road. Uh, we got to win our home games. Um, but like I said, now that, uh, Tucker was placed on IR, hopefully, uh, it's not long term. Uh, but it doesn't sound good. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see who they put, uh, in his place in the lineup. Uh, and Tuesday as well against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Um, and that's also in Buffalo. Uh, the Buffalo Sabres are coming off of two huge wins uh, in, in Florida. They beat Tampa Bay 6-5 in overtime. And then they beat Florida 3-1 uh, to one, two, uh get possession of that second wild card playoff spot. I want to move out of that wild card playoff spot and up into the first wild card playoff spot and then hopefully um, move up out of that and into that sixth. I want the five or six seed. Uh, I know it's a tall task and I know it's going to be tough, but um, you know, I want, I want that fifth or sixth seed. Uh, and as far as goaltending goes in this game, I think you got to start Craig Anderson, man. That he's the oldest goalie in the NHL to uh, stop 53 shots in a game. So uh, hats off to him for doing that against the Florida Panthers. And now we get ready for the Washington Capitals. Um, we got to bury them, you know. We got to put them away uh, while we can, and as well as Columbus too. Uh, we got to put these teams away when we have the opportunities, uh, because, um, we, we just, we got to keep winning. And if we, if we want to keep this wild card playoff spot, you know, this is something we have to do. We have to keep winning. Um, we need the other kids to step up now, uh, as well. So... It's not going to be an easy month of March, and it's not going to be a uh, easy homestand. But these are winnable games with uh, uh, Washington and Columbus. I do think we beat Washington, and I do think we beat uh, Columbus. So we're going to need uh, Victor Olofsson. We're going to need Casey Middlestat. And, of course, Jack Quinn, Tage Thompson, you know, Jeff Skinner, Peyton Krebs. Um, 
you know, we're going to need them guys. Uh, Henry Yoki Haryu, uh, Ilya Labushkin, Matias Samuelson, Tyson Jost, uh, like I said, guys like that, Dylan Cousins. Um, I think they should put Rasmus Asplund, uh, in the lineup, uh, to replace Alex Tuck, at least for the time being, um, see, you know, what, what he can do, uh, and with the trade deadline coming up, you know, maybe we can showcase him, uh, to possibly trade him, uh, I do think, um, Casey Middlestat, uh, possibly could be or should be traded, uh, that experiment just isn't working for us. And I know we have some uh, draft picks we can use. We no longer need them. Look, guys, uh, we are a good team. We no longer need uh, to stockpile picks. Um, we have a young team. We don't need to get younger. Uh, we're on the rise. Look, at we're, we're the youngest team in the NHL, and we're sitting in a playoff spot right now. So um, I don't ever want to hear the words... Uh, tank and Sabres in the same sentence ever again because this team is going to be good for a long, long time. Uh, they got a young team and they got Tage Townsend signed. They got Dylan Cousins signed long term. They got Matias Samuelson signed long term. Jeff Skinner signed, you know. Uh, they got Rasmus Dahlin uh, signed. So, they got uh, a lot of their core signed. Uh, I'd like to see them resign J.J. Paterka, uh, Peyton Krebs. You know, I want to see them. Uh, I don't think they resign Gergensen's. Um, I just don't don't see it happening. You know, his production. You know, just in my opinion, just isn't there. Um, but uh, we ha we have some kids in Rochester that are I think uh, are ready to come up. Lucas Rusek uh, is one of them, although he could possibly be a trade piece if if necessary uh, with the deadline coming up. All right, so the NHL trade deadline is March third at three p.m. Eastern. Um, so it, it's going to be interesting. They they had some. Uh, uh, big trades already. Um, so, w like I said, I think we need a goal scorer, another goal scorer, a physical uh, goal scorer, and a big physical defenseman. Um, so, hopefully Kevin Adams doesn't stand pat. Uh, hopefully they get uh, they get something at the deadline. I think we should be buyers. Um we need we need uh, people that'll stick up for these kids, you know, and, and uh, get in a fight or two uh, to defend these kids and, and show teams that uh, they're not going to push us around uh, because we're not going to be that kind of team anymore. So um, we need we need a physical forward as well um, and someone that can help out Jeff Skinner. You know, like I said, Tage Townsend, Alex Tuck in the scoring department. Um, you know, uh, Victor Olofsson, he's uh, disappeared as of late. Maybe they put uh, him on the ice more uh, in Tuck's spot. Uh, maybe maybe he's a trade piece. I, I don't know, but uh, we, we need to do something at the deadline. Uh, I don't know, maybe possibly get a goalie. Uh, I wouldn't mind trading Eric Comrie, you know. Uh, but, like I said, we need to do something at the deadline. So, guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. And is uh, Kevin Adams and Don Granado going to be like Lindy Ruff and Darcy Regeer and have a long uh, GM head coach tenure 
uh, here in the NHL. I hope so. Now that the Buffalo Sabres are sitting in a playoff spot, uh, Don Granato uh, should be re-signed to a long-term deal because this, this team's going to make the playoffs for a long time. So, go Sabres. Let's beat the Capitals. And stay tuned for my Washington Capitals at Buffalo Sabres recap. Um, hopefully that's uh, about a win and us keeping the number two wild card playoff spot. And stay tuned for my San Antonio Brahmas at Orlando Guardians preview. And my Los Angeles Lakers at Dallas Mavericks preview. Until my next video, peace, go Sabres, and like I said, them other videos are coming up. Stay tuned. So, go Sabres, beat the Capitals.